Today we're going to teach you the 7 most advanced badminton single strategies that will transform your game from backyard badminton to Olympic champion in under 10 minutes. So make sure to like, comment and subscribe and watch until the end of the video. First, let's start with our services. Now you might see that most professional athletes like to serve using their backhand and doing a short serve. Whereas on you on the other hand, it's more important that you serve long and high to the back. When you're serving to the back of the court, you want to aim for the box in the back, no closer and no further. Your serve height should also be as high as possible so that when the shuttle falls down, your opponent's contact will be into the feather, reducing the speed of the shot. Overall, you want to serve to the middle of the court more often so that all the shots come through the center. If you decide to take a risk and serve to the side of the court, be ready to cover those straight shots and those hard cross steep smashes. One more reason, if you think you're slightly more experienced than your opponent, why it's important to serve high is that oftentimes in new courts, when you serve high, it's, high, it's hard to see the bird coming down from above, so you're slightly blinding them as well. The second advanced strategy is making sure to play to all the corners of the court. You can break it up into six corners, your front two corners, your back two corners, and your side two corners. One mistake newer players often make is they always want to hit hard. They want to hit fast, big smashes, hard clears to the back, but they don't focus on how side to the court it is. You'll see that because this badminton court is already so small, it only really takes one step to cover every direction. What makes the difference between more newer badminton players and professional badminton players is their movement. Because many badminton players, their hands, they're able to retrieve shots. It's just their movement, they're not able to move as quickly. So you have to make sure to hit to all corners of the court with variety so that they don't stand there in anticipation of your shot. A third strategy is to make sure you're moving your opponents quickly. This is very much like a game of chess. You do not try to one-shot your opponent if your opponent is the same level as you. What you want to do is consistently pressure them more and more each point until they reach that tipping point, then you go in for the attack. Next is coming back to the center. Now I know as a beginner you learn every time you hit the shot, you must return to the center as quickly as possible. Now I'm telling you, you don't have to. You can be a little bit lazy. lazy. Why is this? Because if you return to the center too quickly, you have too much momentum moving in one direction that it's difficult to turn directions to retrieve your other shots. Because the badminton court is so small, the hardest movement in badminton is actually turning to the right direction and pushing. So it's more beneficial if you're able to stay in one corner and cover three corners that are slightly further rather than cover four corners with momentum moving backwards. Our fifth tip is making sure that you have uniform overhead strokes. To a player who has decent amount of experience, they can tell what you're going to hit. One, if your swing gets smaller during your drop shot, they're going to know you're dropping. If your swing is getting bigger or you're winding up more during your smash, they're going to know you're smashing. You want to make sure all your swings are short, quick and small, including your smash. Second is, if you're able to get your overhead stroke down, then it's important to get your grip the same as well. So if you're about to hit a drop shot, make sure you don't change your grip to hitting like this. You want to keep all your grip in a neutral position and change at the last moment or right before you're about to hit. Advanced tip number six is change of pace, or as Bruce Lee likes to say, Be water, water, my friend. You have to be able to change it up. You always have to keep them on their toes by playing slower rallies. Then you suddenly add speed and catch them off guard. When you're playing really fast, he's really eager. Then you play super slow and you mess up their rhythm and that fatigues them. So you want to make sure you have that change of place. Control the rhythm of the court so that your opponent is following your pace of gameplay. Our last tip and most important tip is group decision making. You might see in badminton we often train many combinations. A lot of these combinations are what we use in gameplay in different scenarios depending on what your opponent hits. You don't want to be looking at your opponent all the time and oh what is he going to hit next. Starting from your serve, starting from your receive, you should already be knowing the first two shots. Serve, smash. The first three shots. Serve, smash, net. The first four shots. Serve, smash, net, cross courts. You want to build those combinations in your head and in your training so that when the time comes, you can apply those combinations instead of reactively thinking on what you need to hit and where you need to move. If you like these videos, you can get more advanced strategy videos on our YouTube membership section for only $4 and it really helps help support this channel and make more videos.